waiting on the green light from me. We ready? Okay. Christian Tell him I need an NIL <laughs> deal. Okay. He's on the way. Come on, boy. Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm all in on core. Hydration. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, we've got uh, Coach Terry here, uh, along with um, Dylan Disu. Uh, Christian Bishop will be here shortly. Uh, Coach, can you get us uh, started with some general comments about the game? Sure. Um, <clears throat> again, another highly contested Big 12 game. Um, two really good teams going at each other. I mean, they know us about as well as we know them. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I thought uh, our guys really responded. Uh, from, from the last time we played these, played these guys about nine days ago. Um, we scored 42 points in the paint tonight. They scored 36 last time. Uh, we were a plus two on the glass last time. We were kind of manhandled on the glass. Uh, a lot of respect for uh, Coach Dixon and his team and his program. Uh, they're a really, really good team. Uh, but I guys give, those, give my guys a lot, a lot of credit in terms of how hard they played today. Uh, they stayed and worked the game for 40 minutes. Uh, wasn't perfect, but uh, they gave us incredible effort and uh, determination uh, and found a way to get it done today. Okay, remember we're going to take care of questions for the players before we come back to coach. We've got a question here on the front row. Actually, we've got one on the front row and the third row. Come to the front row first, please. Christian, uh, how many friends and family did you have here? And what got into you playing in front of the hometown fans? Uh, I think I had about like 17, 18 friends and family here. So, I mean, you just always got to put on uh, for the city whenever you're in town. So um, that's what I was trying to do when I got out there. It's not the barbecue or anything? <laughs> nah, it ain't the food, man. That's all me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for uh, Chip Brown, Horns 24-7. Uh, Dylan, the first half, unstoppable. Uh, and then no shots, really, in the second half. And Christian dominates in the second half. So. Dylan, you just talk about your first half and, and see Bishop, how you kind of picked up. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Coach uh, talked to us before the game and said we're going to have a heavy dose of putting the ball inside. Um, and he told us that he trusted us and believed in us to go score, just take our time and, and score. And so that's exactly what we did. Um, and then uh, when I got in foul trouble, I think CB, CB went in and picked up right where, where I left off and, and dominated. Go ahead, Greg. Uh, Greg Eklund for AP Broadcast. I have a question for each of the players. First, Dylan, um, midseason coaching change. Now you're one victory away from playing for the Big 12 title with a coach you didn't anticipate being your head coach at this time. What are your thoughts when you think about that? I mean, I love RT. So, I mean, we, we loved him before. Um, and so it was really kind of a seamless change, as, as difficult as that may be to believe. Um, RT's done this for a while. Um, he old, so you know uh, <laughs> he knows what he's doing, man. So it wasn't no 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 uh, difficulty in learning to play for RT. And then this question for Christian: uh, You spoke a few moments ago about how many friends and family are here. Knowing how many Jayhawk fans you've grown up around, what does it mean to be playing against Kansas for the Big 12 tournament title? Uh, you know, they're a really well-coached team, a lot of good players, and so it's always a great opportunity to play against a team like that. You know, that's why I came to Texas in the first place, uh, have an opportunity like that. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Nick Moore, San Antonio Express News, both for uh, Dylan and Christian. Obviously, you know, Timmy's such an integral part of this team. What does it say about y'all that you're able to band together and, you know, you're, you're going to play for a Big 12 title tomorrow without one of your starters? Can we take it? Yeah, rock out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think that that just kind of um, is a testament to, to how much we believe in each other and how much we play for each other because we love each other. Um, obviously, we're, we're not happy that Timmy's not playing, but um, we just come together and say, you know, ne next man up. Um, and that's what we've kind of embraced this entire season. For Christian and for, for Dylan, um, what's going to take against Kansas tomorrow to get this Done. Yeah, the uh, team with the most energy tomorrow is going to probably win the game, and so we just got to come out with some pop and be ready to go. Yeah, what CB said, basically, I mean, it's been a long week, uh, 
and it's just going to come down to who wants it more, and that's going to show in the energy. Back here on the front row. Uh, how much did RT talk about what happened at TCU as far as on the boards last game, and how much was that an emphasis during the week? Yeah, we got out physical last time we played those guys at their place, and so uh, we just had to come out with our with our motors going. And uh, you know, luckily me and Bill were able to do that today. We just got to keep going. We've got time for two more questions for the players. Anybody want them? Going, going, going. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it, Joe. If you raise your hand, let us get a wireless mic to you. We'll continue with Coach Terry. Okay. Yeah, Ronnie, they, they just, the guys just touched on it a little bit, but you go back to that first half at TCU, I think they shot something like 60%, almost scored 44 points. You look back at your last seven halves of basketball, the defense has been a lot tighter. Um, you know, what do you think has really clicked for them since that first half in Fort Worth? Well, this group has been a very resilient group all year long. Um, really just stayed the course and anything we needed to work on to try to fix it, try to be better with, they've done a great job with. You know, that last game we played uh, at TCU, they were more physical. They out toughed us at their place. Um, you know, they out rebounded us at a, at, you know, by a large margin. Um, you know, we didn't take care of the basketball. They had fast break points. They had two fast break points in this game. They're one of the, they're the fastest team in the, in, in the country. And, uh, but taking care of the basketball early was, was, uh, was a high emphasis, and I thought we, we did a nice job with that. Uh, we had 10 turnovers in, in the game, um, you know, as opposed to 15 uh, or more at their place. Uh, but our guys really responded. They responded well. We knew tonight when that shot went up, you know, our bigs were going to be there really working hard to box these guys out, and our guards were going to come down and help us rebound. And uh, we needed five guys on the glass today. And uh, it also allowed us to be able to get out and play our strength. We could play, we could play fast as well and get up the floor, and uh, we were able to do that today. Go ahead, Chip. RT, um, what are you seeing from Dylan right now over these last couple games? And, and just talk about Bishop's energy and, and how important that will probably be tomorrow. The suits really rebound the ball for us at a high clip. He did it yesterday uh, really well for us. Uh, and then again tonight, he went and got some tough rebounds outside his area and uh, some grown man rebounds. Uh, and uh, really, really stepped up um, to the challenge as opposed to what we had nine days ago. So really proud of him. CB came in and played one of his better games of the year. Came in and he had so much energy uh, and will uh, in the game and just really just you know, really lifted our team when he came in. Gave us an incredible lift, offensively, defensively, and uh, sitting down guarding Miller. Miller had, Miller, Miller had been a guy that had been, a, you know, a lot of problems for us over the course of the two games we played previously. He had eight points today. He had 20 and 21 in the two previous games. That was a big matchup. And uh, I thought both of our bigs playing in there together was really good for us. Front row here. Coach, uh, uh, your two leading scorers, Carr and Rice, were combined 5 of 27 but you still beat TCU. I mean, what does that say about your team? And how do you get those two going, you know, here in Kansas City? All oh, those guys, they're, they're, they're big time players. I mean, they're, they're prime time players. They'll play big uh, and they'll continue to shoot the basketball and score the ball as needed. Uh, I thought, again, they gave us great leadership down the stretch, even though they weren't scoring. They were out there guarding and, and, and really just following the game plan offensively and defensively. They'll shoot the ball much better than what they shot to this point right now. And uh, hopefully they'll start tomorrow night. Uh, in terms of moving forward. But, uh, um, you know, I thought everybody else collectively really did their job at a high level. Uh, I thought Tyrese really played well for us as well as, as our bigs. I thought our bench guys came in and, and gave us a great lift. Brock came in and gave us great great energy and, uh, and, and really contributed well. I thought Ontario came in and gave us good minutes. Team win. Team win. You know, and, and again, this team all year long it hasn't just been one guy. It's been multiple guys that can be leading scores for us on any given night, and those are the hardest teams to prepare for. RT, <clears throat> what about tomorrow's game, and um, what did you learn from the first two meetings that, that you can take into this one? Well, well-coached team, uh, a team that uh, um, you know, plays again really fast. Uh, we've got to do a great job of taking care of the basketball. Uh, Jalen Wilson, player of the year in the league, has had an incredible year. Harris is really the, the head of the snake, though. I mean, as he goes, 
they go pretty well. So we got to do a great job on Harris. Thought Grady played really well at their place. We did a pretty good job on him the last time around. But they've got a good team. They've got a, a you know one of the top teams in the country, uh, and we'll put a lot of pressure on us to try to sit down and guard those guys for 40 minutes. Yeah, Rodney, you know, this, this is kind of the time of year where a lot of coaches tighten the rotation, shorten it up a little bit. You guys are comfortable playing nine. You've done it all year. How much has that helped you with Timmy being out for this tournament? And, and do you expect to try to see how he's looking tomorrow, shoot around before you kind of decide what to do with him? Well, we've had a, you know, Nick, we've had a next man mentality all year long. And, uh, you know, we've really tried to, tried to continue to develop our bench all season long. Even when guys like Ontario wasn't playing a whole lot, he was working really, really hard to be prepared for an opportunity like he's had in this tournament. And uh, he's really responded uh, as well. Dylan Mitchell still, you know, working hard and developing as well. You know what Brock brings to the table. Uh, in March Madness, you have to have a bench, an extended bench. And, uh, you know, to be able to play through adversity, play through fouls, play through someone getting, getting nicked up or banged up a little bit. And, uh, you know, we've been able to do that in this tournament. I think we'll, uh, it'll help us in the next tournament. Got time for a couple more for Coach Terry. <laughs> Here's one right here. What do you like most about your team right now, and what, what do you need to work on? You know what? I, the thing I like most about our team right now, Chip, is I think they're just living in the moment. You know, we talk about it all the time. Play in the present. Live where your feet are. Enjoy this journey, man. Um, be excited about and wanting more. Stay hungry. And uh, this group's done that. They've done that at, a, at an unbelievable level and, uh, uh, and have had great chemistry doing it. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't change anything in terms of trying to get better. I think our guys are guarding as well as they've guarded all year. And uh, we'll have an incredible challenge tomorrow against one of the top teams in the country. Our last question is here on the front row. Coach, if you were to win tomorrow, what would that say about your case for a number one seed? You know what, uh, Thomas, we've just tried to control what we can control. We've got 40 minutes in front of us against a, uh, a really good team uh, that uh, we know is going to come out and be a motivated team to play really well tomorrow. Uh, we just got to come out and just do what we've done uh, over the last three ball games, and that's try to sit down and uh, play, as we can, play as hard as we can play defensively and you know, have our defense travel. Okay, Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck to you tomorrow.